Hey guys, hello and welcome to another Divi Engine tutorial on Divi and WooCommerce. My name is Roby and today I'm going to show you how to build this super awesome overlay effect that will show the product price as well as the product title as an overlay for your Divi shop modules. And you might be asking yourself, why do I want to do this? Well, two reasons. When you take away the price and the, the product title there, it actually highlights the product images so the customer can create a little bit of value and attachment to the item and this works especially well for things like websites that sell art prints or maybe handbags with high detail or any type of high-end product where you want to create the value. Now, the other thing that it does, also this effect creates a little bit of inter interactivity on the page, which heightens the engagement for the user. So two really good reasons to do this. And the way I came across this is that one of my clients that had an apparel brand wanted to um, add this effect on their page that they saw on a Shopify site. So I got to it and wrote some jQuery and CSS, and I'm gonna share that with you today. Let's go ahead and get into it. Now, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is add a new page to your site. And I will just call this test, oops, test overlay. And then enable the Divi Boulder. Okay, cool. So the next thing we are going to do is select bolt from scratch and we'll add a single column row. In that row, we'll add a Divi shop module. And for the content portion, we'll keep everything the same for now. We'll head over to design. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is style that title, the overlay, as well as the price. So go to overlay, and then we'll select the icon color. Now I can cheat because I've recently used the colors, but the icon color will be this green color. It's 0FE5A8. And then, oh, I did that the wrong way. This one, we will go and select on, recent green. And then for the background, we're going to use that Divi Engine purple color, which is 5430CE, but you can make it any color you want. Click on that, and we will give it a 75% opacity. So there we're at 80. Just go and type 75, and that should be pretty good. Now when we hover, we can see that right there, looking pretty good already. Next up, we want to style the title. So we go to title, I'm going to use the Poppins font, but you, again, can use any font you like. We want to give this a little bit of boldness, so we'll go semi-bold. We are going to make sure that's uppercase because when it sits over the image, you want it to be a little bit more prominent um, so it doesn't get lost in that overlay. We'll also center that text color white since it will be going over there. Now, don't worry that it disappears there on the side yeah. We will enlarge it a little bit to 18 pixels. And then scrolling down, we will add a shadow to it. So you can see that it's already visible and we're using option one here. So that's going to look great once it's over the actual um, image with the overlay. Now next up, we want to change the price. Again, we'll use the Poppins font, but this time we'll use light. So that looks pretty good already there. We won't be changing the style yet, but we will set the alignment to centered also, so that looks good. Text color will be white, and we'll set the font size equal again, again, just so it doesn't get lost on the page, and we'll add that shadow for the same reason. And that's pretty much it for the shop settings. We'll get back to that in a second because we'll be adding some code in the next step, but this is a good start. Okay, so next up for the next step, we wanna add a code module within which we'll paste our jQuery code that will make all of this happen. So you can either go into the module view down here. I like to use the layer browser. I'll expand my section, I'll expand the row, and then the column. Now what I want here is to go ahead and add a code module. So type in code, and that'll pop that in there. Now, where you'll find this code is if you follow the link in the description of this video, or if you're on our blog post already, the code is embedded there on the page. So if I'm going back here, and I'm scrolling down here, I will find the code. So you can just go ahead and select everything from script to script, copy that, go back to your page, and just 
paste it on the page. Nothing else you need to do. Now just going through the code here a little bit, it's commented pretty good so you can see what does what and if you wanted to change anything, you can do that here. But the first line is just making sure jQuery is ready. Then we assign this class, which we'll use in a little bit to the shop module. And then we'll assign all these shop items, which is all the line items for the product. So it's each loop within that shop page. And now we make sure that for each item in that, we go through these steps where we detach the title, we detach the price, and then we add it to the overlay. And that's pretty much it. So we can just say, or oh, actually one more thing that we'll do is we'll just type in jQuery code here as a label so that you know when you're coming back to it and you can see it right here. And it's, this is good practice also for you know other people working on the same pages, that type of thing, um, to just make it simpler. So go ahead and save that. And we add to, need to add one more code module. And we will type in code again. And then we'll go back to that blog post, which is also linked in the description again. I'll show it right here. And then here, you'll select from style to the style tag. Copy that. And go back to the page and paste. Again, let's walk through this really quickly. You can see here that we have it pretty well commented again. We talk about the alignment here. Now here you can change the actual position of where the title and the price will display. This is saying that it's going to be 5% from the top of the actual card, so the actual image there of the overlay. And then here it's 80% from the top. Now you can tweak that based on your needs. You can add it to be left aligned, right aligned. It's entirely up to you how you want to use this, but this is a good starting point. So when you say, okay, we can for now close the layer viewer and let's go ahead and save this just to take a look at what our page looks like. So we'll publish and let's exit the visual boulder. So now we can see not much has happened. We, we still see our title and everything down here. And that's because we haven't added that class that we created in jQuery to the actual shop module. So if we go back, and this is the last step to our blog post here, we'll see here that we created the class Divi Engine Custom Overlay. So copy that. And now let's enter the Visual Boulder again. And once there, go into your shop settings the shop module settings, I should say. Go to advanced, CSS ID and classes, then add this class to the module and say, yes, save it, save the page. And now if all went well, you see that we have that beautiful overlay and we've done this in less than 10 minutes. How fantastic is that? Now. If you like this article, please, please, please definitely comment below whether you're watching this on YouTube or on our site, and definitely send us any suggestions that you have for other topics you'd like us to cover. We are always excited to bring these to you. And with that, I wanna thank you guys for sitting through this tutorial. Definitely, definitely, definitely follow us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, and definitely subscribe to our newsletter so you can always be in the loop for new freebies like this that come out. Thank you so much. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.